Last series, we learned how to deal with raiders. Last series, we learned how to deal with vicious wild animals. And last series, we especially learned how to deal with the undead. This time around, we're going to crank it up to 11. I want the zombies to be a massive, massive threat. That's something we constantly have to try and deal with. All the settings are at maximum. We're going to go complete balls to the wall with this one and just see what type of messy series we can make. This is going to be a standard survival series for the channel, though. That means no spoilers in the thumbnails, no spoilers in the titles of the episodes as well. We want suspense, we want tension, and we want survivability with two, hopefully, very friendly faces. Welcome, everybody, to what will hopefully be a new and improved zombie series. So I've sort of taken the feedback from the past few episodes. I've sort of taken all of that first series, if you want to look at it like this. This is kind of a soft reboot, as I said yesterday. Taking all of your feedback from that, and sort of now with a bit of experience under my belt with regards to Zombieland, I've implemented quite a few changes that will hopefully make it a lot more interesting to watch, but give us or give you guys more of the things that you enjoyed seeing and less of the more mundane stuff. So... I think I'll, yeah, let's talk about the, let's talk about some of the changes now then. So starting off with, I want it to be more focused on the zombies, because realistically the zombies were just kind of an inconvenience uh, in the last couple of series. Most of the times that we were dying, it was a random people that we were finding in the ruins. So to make up for that, I've increased the zombie numbers to the maximum that they can be. We're talking like 200 zombies per colonist. We're talking a maximum of 5,000 zombies on the screen. There is a lower infection risk. However, to make up for that, we're going to start with two characters so that if we, if, if we are infected, we can still carry on. You know, it's not an immediate game over because one person can care for the other one while they hopefully fight off the infection. Lower, it, lower than the base game, I think we're at like 25% chance of infection rather than 50% chance of infection or whatever the hell it is. So it, it still should be common, but it's not going to be impossible if we do get infected because that's the issue with playing with one character. Right, The second you're bitten, that's sort of the end of things. The zombies do weaker damage as a result because there literally can be 5,000 zombies on the screen at once. It's going to be a mass. It's going to be this huge horde that we'll have to dodge around like these big old areas of the map that we're just not going to be able to go near. They do weaker damage and they are slower unless they're in hordes, at which point they're going to hit harder and they're, they are going to be much, much faster. Uh, did I say harder? Harder and faster was the point I was getting at there. Just sort of combined it. So hopefully the zombies will act as more of a threat when they... When, when, when they are left unattended, you know, if we completely ignore the problem, it's going to get worse and worse over time until eventually it does become a real challenge. But if we stay on top of it, if we're sensible with how we play, if, we sen if we're sensible on how we defend our base, it should be manageable. But it should also provide that sort of horrifying threat constantly outside our gates, 500 or 600 or so zombies, I think would be very, very cool. We're going to stick to the more city-based play as well, because I know people really, really enjoy that stuff. I think a lot of people, and I've seen this come on a lot, want me to stick inside the cities, try and fortify that somewhat, rather than disappearing out into the world and just building a base from scratch. So we will try and stay inside the city, gather as much as, as, as tech as we possibly can, and, and really just bunker down and try and survive. That's what we're going for, a true survival playthrough here. And again, we are going to start with two people. So, we're still playing in the same one as well. Still planet, planet, uh, planet killer weapon approaching, 365 days. Toxic sensitivity will be reduced to 50%. However, we can much more common uh, will, will toxic fallouts occur. So those are going to happen, like I think it's like once every week or something like once every two weeks. Don't entirely remember. But as a result, you know, it's, it's still going to be kind of a pain in the ass. But we might be trapped indoors, surrounded by zombies, which I thought would be just kind of cool. And it sort of ties into the scenario quite nicely. So besides that, though, we're still going to play the sort of regular stuff. Here we're going to play Randy Commitment Mode on Savage as well. Let's go for our random. Ready? Three, two, one, boom. Clown. Uh, how appropriate that I would get the clown seed. So we'll still start in our abandoned city. And obviously we'll just focus on building that up instead. And see if we can turn this broken old city into a, a, a viable defended base. And I would really love to see like the mine ship, uh, the, the mining coast spaceship mod, like actually having landing pads where people can come in and take refuge and dropping off little teams and stuff. There are the there are the vague settings you can sort of see here that, that the zombies can attack doors when they're in agitated, so when they're in big hordes, things like that. Which of course they will because there's going to be a lot of zombies. Zombies appear at the dark from the map edges. They'll attack all creatures. Um, they are easy to kill. They don't recover from injuries. However. Never more than 5,000 zombies, a five times colony multiplier, and there are 200 zombies per colonist. As you can imagine, this might be ridiculous. Might need to adjust it as we play through here. Turrets have a reduced consumption because there are literally going to be thousands of enemies on the map at once. Hopefully that's fair. I might even need to increase that in the future. The risk that something about infect is 20%. Damage multiplier is lower, but zombies can still move faster when they're in big hordes, things like that. So... Let's dive in and let's sort of see what we end up with here. I'm already drawn to places where there are other abandoned cities, just in case, you know, we, we might bunker down our own city, might, have, might find a safe way to get to the map edge, we might want to leave the city from there. So, 
picking through other cities is still a viable strategy. We might even want to go for somewhere like here, you know, because there is two cities between that, although the, probably the temperature is quite bad there. Yeah, it's tundra. We don't really want to go for somewhere like that. We want all-round growing, because I think food's already going to be difficult enough without limiting when we can grow. So I'm looking over here. This looks nice. Tropical rainforest. Obviously, diseases are already a concern, so I feel like that's what's, what's a little bit extra, huh? Flat, stone road plus. We've got sandstone and marble. Elevation is fairly low. Temperature is very, very good. Aver very good average temperature there. Year-round uh, growing period, and then, of course, decent rainfall too I'm, I'm really happy with this start that's fine now for our prepare carefully i've of course prepared two old classic characters here from some of the old series that we've had we can load up zombie land this time say goodbye to zilp he had a good run we've got eagle throog and donitz benger the two survivors from the from the previous convergence series where we played with all of those ridiculous mod packs these were the two that caused the apocalypse and these are the two that survived it we have at the top here eagle Apocalypse Survivor, Tinkerer, Decent Learner, Strong Constitution, and Bloodlust. Because, of course, to survive in the Apocalypse, I feel like you have to be a little bit bloodthirsty. You have to be prepared to defend yourself. Eagle, shit at all things survival. Bad at shooting, bad at melee, bad at construction, mining, cooking. But she's a very knowledgeable character. She was always our scientist character. She was always our, our leader. You know, she, she's very much a politician through and through. Good knowledge about plants, crafting, medical, social, intellectual. She is our useful character that is going to hopefully keep the base running. Conversely, we've got our boy, the Deadshot, the lone cowboy himself, Donitz Benger. Apocalypse survivor, of course, because they, they, they both are. I mean, that's just true. He's an army sergeant. He was the one who came to save eagles in our original RimWorld series that we did. The Cult of Throog. He was the one that turned up to actually save Eagle from, from being overwhelmed here. Now, I've actually changed his backstory, and it's given him 18 shooting. I feel like it's a little too strong, so we'll knock that down a little bit there. Um, so he's got 15 shooting. I'll also drop that down back to 12 as well. Shooting 15, melee 12, construction 12, mining 12, cooking 12. Animals and crafting is obviously kind of irrelevant there. That's, that's not really got anything to do with it. This guy is our survivor. He's going to be one going through the ruins, bringing stuff back to Eagle. She's going to turn it into a useful, powerful base. She's going to be doing all the research, holding shit together while he is our, our muscle. You got the brains, you got the brawn. It's a nice little combo here. And then he is, of course, Bloodless Coordinated and Deathshot as well. So, I quite like this start. Now, for equipment, we are bringing over the tr trusty wrench from last series. That trusty wrench saw us through some, I think, quite bad times. We've given Donitz just a very generic bolt action rifle. I don't want to give him anything OP like a charge action or, you know, anything even more powerful than that, really. A 60 rifle ammo. I'm hoping that's the right ammo for that gun. I haven't actually tried it, and I better bump up the meal so there's actually enough for two meal because I completely forgot to do that. All right. I hope you guys enjoy this idea in this scenario, and hopefully it's going to be a little more dynamic having two characters rather than just the one. We're not going to be completely mowed down by every enemy we find from now on. Same story applies, though, and of course the difficulty from here comes from, is there going to be enough gear for both of them? Are we going to be able to feed two people? Are we going to be able to defend two people simultaneously? The gameplay itself becomes harder, so I'm going to micromanage a little bit more. Eagle, go grab your steel wrench. Donitz, go grab your bolt action rifle. Let's go and pick up those meals, too. Right, where is his ammo? There it is. Okay, I really hope that this is the right ammo. I, I'm, I'm absolutely praying right here, my man. Um, oh, you know what? We should have Igor carry the meals then, because Donuts actually can't fit both on. Right. Okay, this is going to be weird, I think. And this is our starting city. You know, this is where, ideally, we just want to live. We want to build up. How long until the zombies come? I don't remember what delay. I might have just set it to the... The default delay is three days. I normally set it to shorter than that, so the zombies are much more of a threat immediately. Or, you know, something we actually do have to concern ourselves with a little sooner than... Three days is quite a long time in, in terms of Rimod. So, fingers crossed we do see more than that. Let's bring these two together and let's uh, let's get out there in the world. See what we can find. Immediately, a Smilodon coming for us. A giant, clearly very... Left Discord open. That's, that's just disgusting there. Uh, having that guy come after us immediately is not really inspiring confidence. Let's check out some of these open areas. And Oh, God, there's an enemy right there. Harriet Rodriguez, enemy grenadier of the Shuthaminium. Shuth Shuth I think is how you would say that. Donitz is a dead shot. Donitz might be able to take her down from this distance. Igor, you just need to get into cover. Honestly, you go take cover. Let Donitz deal with this. Now, what's she wearing? Are we going to be able to... Uh, she's got an armor vest. Not a big deal. She also has Molotov cocktails. Could be very, very good for an emergency situation. There's a lot of Molotovs, too. She's carrying medicine. She's carrying simple meals. This is someone we need to kill. We want to secure the area so that these two can start setting up a base. Got lots of all the, you know, the little graphics mod. You know, the, the combat extended graphics. Um, there is a combat graphics mod that, that is, is patched to now work with this. Looks really cool. You know, the bullet impact works really well with combat extended. Because that also has, like, little cases, things like that as well. All right, this is good. Right, let's go and strip this person. So the armor, I guess, we'll give to Donitz, given that Donitz is going to be on the front line the most, right? So let's uh, let's pick him apart here, see what we can grab. Go get this one. Let's give him the tactical vest as well. Igor, you are going to pick up the meals and the medicine. I think that's a safe bet. Do you want to take the Ambrosia? Not really. We might want to take the Molotovs. We could always establish some sort of trap like that. I'm thinking like... Spoilers for Season 8 Game of Thrones, you're not missing out much. Sort of like how they had the big wooden palisade around Winterfell. We could do something like that and light it all up with uh, with Molotovs if we're truly being overwhelmed here. Right, okay. 
This is cool. This is already a, a nice start, I think. Let's go and have a peek around. Now, I really like there being just steel and random components lying around. It means if we truly get desperate, we can still grab something. Now, look. We've got steel bed, steel dresser, steel end table. We're looking for a big building to really start putting down our base in uh, more than anything else here. You know, we, we've found some pretty heffing buildings before. So, we could find a big one like this. This looks ideal. You know, the, these big walls, big defense are going to be a very important thing. We've got batteries kicking around nearby as well. Oh, this could be very good. This looks quite sizable. What do you think? We might have found our little home base here right now. I should really start splitting them up a little bit because I think in these starting areas, it's not going to be too difficult. Wall veil. Eagle, get that shit equipped. That suits you, my friend. Perfect. Welcome. Uh, we've got a few components here. This looks nice. I'm actually a big fan of this one. All we've got to do is stick another door down, and this is, uh, this is very good, huh? Wow, this is huge. Oh, my God. It's kind of perfect. Okay. This might be our home base. So what we want to do is claim, obviously, every door in the area to make sure that animals and shit can't walk through, as we found out previously. What are these? Are these steel? Oh, my God. There's so much steel kicking around as well. Many, many power conduits, which, of course, we can all get fully reinstalled to. You guys have been pointing out we have the Minify mod. Now, I honestly will admit, I, I do miss that quite frequently because I personally don't play with it. I've always found it's a little OP. But in a survival scenario where we are very limited in the resources we're getting, I kind of think the Minify mod is, is really important. You know, it, it's really going to help out with just being able to restructure, rebuild some of these bases. You know, even s simple things like removing these walls, uninstalling them, being able to reinstall them without losing too many resources. Kinda, is that a thrombo horn? Oh, shit. Wow. Should we stick down a stockpile then? Because we've got, what's that? We've got two days, 19 hours until the zombies come. So for a plan of attack, I'm thinking we scout around the whole city and maybe the first day. Second day, we start moving in all the furniture. Third day is when our, our movement is actually going to be heavily restricted because the zombies will start to spawn in at that stage. Anytime past that, we've just got to kind of pray. So what we want to do is we want to get a big area of both land and building. So we could even do something as simple as just walling across there, connecting up these little walls, connecting this mountain, and try and grab like this whole area here, removing all the food, removing all the uh, all the floors, and turning that into a full-blown farm. That could work very, very well for us. These two do need to stick together in case there are other survivors. Like there are plenty of furniture as well, so we're not going to struggle too much here starting off with. Um, I want to make sure we've got every last little inch of this map explored before we uh, before we start getting settled in. You know, you never know when there might be certain enemies luring around corners, that type of thing. Oh, this is interesting. Okay, so we're going to have to run all the way through here. Or we could just dismantle the wall. Although I do like the natural barrier that provides. They can spawn at the map edges, though. That is a fair point. So we do need to... I'm probably going to plan those out. Oh, yeah, look at that. So we definitely can't use this as a natural barrier. I was going to say we could, you know, maybe try and reinforce this whole thing. But unfortunately, that's just straight up not going to work. So I don't really mind too much about disabling or, or, or dismantling, I should say, this wall instead. There we go. All right, what do we got? It was just a big old open street. Anyway... Right, team. Let's keep going. This is a, this is a fantastic start. I don't want to waste this. A little bit of armor. Obviously, nice. It's not incredible. It's certainly no power armor or anything we found previously. Certainly, I haven't found any super big, powerful weapons either, but it is pretty good. We're looking for... Oh, my God. There's so many steel walls and things. As, like, I've not really noticed. Not that I've... You know, because normally I don't really pay attention to stuff because we never really planned on putting down roots here. But seeing how much steel there is, even even random things like pod launchers could be very, very useful. Another big building over here. You know, I'm not, I'm not entirely convinced of that one that I wouldn't be afraid of moving somewhere else if we found something better now the reason i'm grouping them together you might think it might be more efficient to split them up i i don't disagree for the time being though this is why i want to make sure these two are are together in the event of apparently a whole bunch of mega spiders and shit causing us many many issues don't it i'm sorry you need to just keep running running gun's gonna be our best friend here keep moving never stop moving oh god this is not a fantastic start is it how long until he can reload oh he's shooting through them though the madman, he actually got, I don't know if you saw that, he hit both with one bullet. Okay, there we go. Let's take that other one down. Let's come down here. Let's take that other one down. Even with running gun, he's still a very, very good shot. He needs to reload. This is where Eagle needs to get in and just start the melee attack. Oh, that's not good. That's... <laughs> well, hopefully you sort of see what I'm getting at with this scenario, though. <clears throat> Combat extended and friendly fire generally go hand in hand, really, don't they? For for recipes that would end a oh, this looks interesting. Recipes that would end a good run. Okay, then Donuts. I, I say a good run as if we didn't last more than five minutes, huh? Right, let's get to work. Where is the ammo? So we need to really not stick to the streets because every time we're in the bloody streets, we generally get shot in about two seconds flat. So you two are going to run indoors and we're going to stick to the buildings because this seems a lot safer. Eagle, there is your trusty wrench in the event that we are randomly attacked. This seems like a nice map. It seems very dense with buildings, which is, of course, exactly what we're after here. Um, oh, God, this is so dangerous, isn't it? This is, this is supremely danger. So we need to, again, find a good building to set up in and then just basically roll with that. This seems nice. This seems like a fairly large building. By the map edge, though, is the only thing I'm concerned about because, of course, then we can't build or expand it or alter it. What the fuck was that? Oh, my God, it's a goat. I honestly thought it was a man. 
I, I genuinely thought that was a human being then. It turns out it was a goat all along. <laughs> oh my god, what is going on? Was this a zoo? Is this a zoo before the apocalypse hit? This is quite a sizable building over here, right? We could definitely do something with this one. Um, oh man, it's actually fucking huge in here. Good lord. Okay. Um, that's nice. That That's something that's definitely viable. Still want to check around. Obviously, we've got a lot of just these huge monolith looking buildings around here. So uh, let's, uh, let's be very careful. Combat music does never inspire confidence in me, particularly with this mod pack. You never know when you're going to fly around a corner and there's going to be a guy in power armor with a charge rifle who will gun you down instantly. Right, slowly. Slowly and carefully. There's a dead boy up there, so let's go and check him out. Speaking of which, power armor, charge shells. Oh, shit. Could this be exactly what I was talking about? Donuts, we might have just found you some power armor, my friend, right off the bat. Okay, Igor, I'm going to stand you over here just as like a little bit of a scout. There we go. Okay, um, we've got some power armor. My god, we've already got power armor. No backpack. That was a little annoying, I will admit, but not a big deal. Where's the gun? I mean, you'd think they would have kept the gun, right? Can we get can we get this hat? Um, you drop your... I, I mean, inventory is full with what? Like, jacket? Okay, let's drop the jacket. Is that enough? No, inventory is full. Drop the ammo? Um, obviously, I'd rather have power armor. There we go. Okay. Fantastic stuff. Takes them apparently fucking ages to put stuff on, huh? Pick up all the rifle ammo. How much can we fit? 47. Eeyore, come grab this synthroid duster. Take off your regular jacket. Look at that. We got a we got a killing team right here, squad. Okay, power armor immediately is obviously fantastic. I should really have Donitz lead the way, but obviously he's going to be somewhat slow now, so it's going to be a lot of micro. Okay, I want every inch of this map scouted out before we really decide to commit to a particular building, just in case we do find something very juicy. Um, there's a lot of steel going on as well. I'm looking at all these buildings. I'm thinking, my God, there is so many steel walls. Wow, look at this. Oh shit. Okay, um, let's head over here then. This is a this is a fantastic start, by the way. This is it's an incredible start. I want to go along the top sections first. What we've got. But, okay, so, so same strategy as last time. Spend the first couple of days looking around, mapping the place out, making sure things are relatively safe. Um, I say with, oh, God, bated breath. Please be careful running through these buildings at this speed. Let's turn it down a little bit. We've got more, we've got more of those man-sized goats. Some of those, is that rifle ammo? Winchester cartridges. Okay, that's something new. Um, I genuinely thought that was rifle for the for ammo for the rifle Donuts was using there. That would have been fantastic. Huh? Uranium is that? Okay. Interesting. Not really relevant, though. I would really love to try and get some room atomic stuff done in this. How cool would that be to build like a big old atomic powered city in the middle of a zombie apocalypse? That'd be kind of cool. Now, there's no reason we couldn't try and connect up all of these buildings as we go. That would be a, a real big gain for the for the campaign. Oh, that's a, apparently a big old dead end. And as we go, slowly build up more and more buildings together with like little safety tunnels and things. Zombies can only attack doors. The less doors, the better. We want like a massive outer perimeter with only one entrance. That's probably the safest thing to do. Because even if zombies get through that main entrance, we can uh, we can very quickly build walls in front of it as we were doing in the other previous runs. All right. This is, uh, this is a very interesting start. Lots of buildings. Some are a bit more viable than others to obviously set up base in. Plenty of things to deconstruct, like a huge amount of shit to deconstruct. No beds yet, though, which is I'm getting somewhat concerned. What was that, flake? Okay, we definitely don't want flake right now. Um, we might have to just set up a random sleeping spot for the nighttime here. Batteries are nice. What's that? Is that a lab as well? Cool. Smoke leaf joint, phosphate, napalm, uh, neutroamine as well. Probably not going to be super relevant, I will admit. Um, major break risk. Yeah, you two need a break, don't you? Let's go and have a look in here, then. Ancient danger. Oh, shit. Let's not have a look in here. Good lord. It's the opposite of what we want. Um... I just want to find a bedroom or something. Genuinely what I'm looking for right now so they can they can take the rest of the night off. I don't know if we're going to find any more enemies at this stage. Honestly, I feel like we'd have found some by now. It seems like a very quiet, sleepy little map, which is obviously good for me because I'm horribly impatient. And it's generally one of the biggest killers. This is a big building here as well. Look at this one. Holy shit. Mostly steel. I'm looking at the floor composition. I'm seeing mostly steel. I'm thinking if we want to build anything out of steel, rip all the fucking floors up and rebuild them out of wood or something later on. Your ground penetrating scanner. They're kind of, kind of useless this early on, but hey. Um, let's get, let's let him have a couple of hours of sleep. We'll just have to put down sleeping spots or something for the time being. Uh, let's go into this room because it is somewhat more... Let's go in here because this is somewhat safer. Right, you guys are going to get yourself a nice double sleeping spot and let's get some, some, some bedtime. I'm going to claim and forbid the doors just so they don't run out of their own volition there. Right, good night, Igor and Donitz. Good luck. How are they doing? Is it just, uh, rest is obviously very low. Recreation obviously very low. There's no combat music, which would imply to me we're safe. Um, is, that, is that a safe bet, do you think? Do you think we would be able to see anything else on the map if there were enemies? 38 more things to try and uh, try and go through. I'd like to clear out all this area and all this little bit of area here. That way, we've basically got half the map done already. We've still got another two days left. Now, today is when we really want to start setting up. So, if we want to pick a building, I'm kind of tempted to go for this one. I also really like this one. I think, actually, this one's bigger, isn't it, in terms of area. Plus, we can expand up to this building. This building very easy and we'll obviously build our way back across anyway. External doors are the big sort of put-off factor. We need to make sure there are no external doors on any of these buildings. And try and get, grab a big sort of outside area too. 
Um, what can I do for an outside area then? There's a solar panel there. That could be very, very important. Um, we could build a wall all across here and then build a wall all across here. That gives us this big area. We could remove the roof on. We could even remove that whole building if we really felt like it. And then start working that into a usable base. I think I could. I think that could do us. I think I could do a really good job. I genuinely believe that could do a very good job. Malnutrition trivial. You guys got no meals? Oh, Eagle's got all the meals. Right. Okay. Let's drop some meals in. Donuts. Uh, get, get yourself. Get yourself some food, my man. Um, Eagle. Do you also want some food? Where's Donuts going? Playing poker. Uh, well, we can quite clearly see that we've been there before. Donuts is already on hiding room. Well, that's not a good start. Okay, Igor, it's all down to you. I'm going to have to wait you up, my friend. Sorry to do this to you, but you are out on your own for the time being. Let's scout this area out and see if my plan was viable to turn this into just one sort of big old safe area. And you know what? I think it bloody damn well is. All right. That's going to be my that's gonna be my plan then. I, I quite like this idea. We need to make sure it says Pemmican there too. To make sure this is fairly well defendable. There's more Pemmican there. Cool. Okay. So, um, well, how do we want to do this? Let's, so we've got the, the uninstall mod, haven't we? I've got to remember how this, this works, because again, I, I don't really use it myself. I don't really use the Minify mod. I've always thought it's a little OP. So let's sit down a stop pile to start off with. Um, any, anywhere is honestly fine, but I'm, I'm kind of tempted to use like this room, or it doesn't really matter at all, does it? I'm, I'm very much overthinking it. Stop pile zone, go here for now. Perfect. Right, Igor, you need to get to work. Now, you can't construct, can you? Or you're not very skilled at construction. No, that's very unfortunate. Does have the wrench, though. Oh, to be fair, you're only, like, like uninstalling. You can't fail, as far as I recall. Let's get these jobs set up very quickly. So, we're going to start nice and simple with the jobs. Just only what we need to survive right now and only what's really relevant right now. So, let's get Igor uninstalling these granite walls. I should probably also set up a decent schedule for them. So, what we'll do is when Donuts comes off a cooldown, we'll drag that poker table into this building. So, that way, if they need recreation, it's going to be one of the only things stopping them from going on a mental breakdown right now. Uh, they're capable of doing so. You know what? You can probably make it over there without coming across any sort of enemies. A lavish meal is fine. You know, it's going to keep their mood up quite nicely, too. This is good. All right. And we can just straight reinstall this shit, right? Okay. That's, that's quite a powerful mod, then. Might be a little bit OP for my liking, but d digging up entire walls and repositioning it. I mean, in a zombie apocalypse, the head cannon, I guess we can say, is something along the lines of... It's just a bunch of bricks they're piling up. You know, zombies aren't going to be that skilled at, uh, at negotiating the terrain or anything like that, are they? Not a big fan that we're able to uninstall walls. I might, I might have to do some tweaking with this. Hopefully, the mod settings allow for that later on. Right, getting rid of this door is also going to be pretty big. So, let's go and remove that one too, little Igor. Thank you very much. And let's get this one put down as soon as possible. So, let's make sure the bottom area of the base is fortified to start off with. So, let's get that installed. Do we have any doors on this outer wall? Yes. So we need to remove this and this too. Again, zombies will only attack the doors. So, that's going to be very careful to make sure that we've removed those. Let's get this installed. Um, let's get it installed over here. We want the zombies to spawn as far away as possible, ideally. Thank you, Eagle. You are doing the Lord's work right now, my man. Holy shit. That's really helping out a lot. Um, still not really relevant, and it probably never will be, because I'm going to try and avoid, again, using any sort of doors possible. Let's box ourselves in. We might as well start as we mean to go on here. Um, let's get that down. Let's get that down there. Okay. Good shit. That's a great start. So, we've got ourselves a nice little well-defended base. Uh, embrasures, obviously, everywhere, too, would kind of help out a little bit as well. Um, can you even install that from there? We can. Okay. Now, let's deal with the outside walls, then. So, we definitely, definitely don't want this door there. Make sure that's uninstalled. Let's get a wall in that as soon as possible. We up to you, little eagle. Uh, running up here. Okay, that's clearly a, 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 a massive hole in the defenses, too, which I will get very quickly patched up. Okay, this could work out. This could work out swimmingly. I'm actually, I've actually got a lot of hope for this. Hopefully, you guys can sort of see the, see the plan I've got going with things here. So, this is now, like, fully, fully encased, right? Um, all we got to do is deal with this one next. Let's get... Combat music? Difficult to tell. I couldn't tell if that was the start of combat music or just the old soundtrack sort of finishing off there. Oh, God. She's she's playing a dangerous game. Playing a little, you're playing a dangerous game, little Throog. You're playing a very dangerous game. Let's get this last wall set in. Now, I believe after that stage, we are good to go, right? Um, can you get some rest? You know what? That's fair enough. We've got one day, seven hours till the zombies come. All we're worried about right now are... Straight up human enemies. And when Donitz is finally off his mental breakdown and he'll have catharsis, we can make him work through the night. Then furniture becomes our next sort of goal here. And obviously power, we're installing these solar panels. We found some batteries at some stage, didn't we? Um, or am I going insane? Uh, maybe we didn't find any batteries. That's okay. I'm sure there'll be some on the map somewhere. Not a big deal. What else do we want to get reinstalled right now? I mean, this we can always dismantle. That's not a big deal. Finding batteries early on will be, of course, huge because we would have to research that. So there's a bunch of drop pod launchers there. There's one bed. Not obviously fantastic, but still better than nothing. Um, did we generally not? I, I, I could have sworn we found some batteries. That's okay. Mega screen television. Obviously, getting that installed for the recreation variety would be pretty nice as well. We've got a regular old tube television there. 
I'm seeing lots of different stuff that I'm very much interested in. Don, it's my man. You're kind of driving me mad here. You're kind of driving me mad. I should get the, um, what's that mod? It's like slap out of it or something like that. It might just be the psychology mod. That would work wonders with this. In fact, it was, it's almost like the perfect thing. Oh, smiling on revenge after being about hunted by who? Oh, God, that's a bit worrying. Um, all right, then. Go, get to work, Eagle. Uninstalling steel door. Let's get this shit set up. This is nice. I'm actually really happy about this start. Donitz is, Donitz is awake. Okay. So, Donitz, you are absolutely on construction as well. I think we need to reorganize this base somewhat, don't we? Maybe remove some of these walls. Maybe pick specific rooms for specific jobs. Um, are we definitely sealed in? So, I'm just sort of following the outer edge here. Uh, this building's all nicely self-contained, following up around here. They could potentially come through these doors. Yeah, uh, what I'm going to do is try and reclaim as much of this building as well. Obviously, the more building we can get, the better. So, that's being installed up there. Let's put this door there. That one is already blocked off, so we actually don't need to worry about that. Let's get this one installed over here. And then this door is then the only way I believe they can get into our base from this stage. Let me just double check. Um, obviously, when that's put in, that's fine. Yes, so that door now is now the only entrance point. As far as I can see, might be incorrect on that. Are you all right? What are you, what are you doing? Why are you not helping out, my man? There's so, there's so much work to do, and you're just pissing around. Let's get that let's get that dealt with. Right, so we've got to just deal with this one next. I guess we go for an uninstall. Um, thank you, Igor. Right, uh, butcher's table. Reinstall as soon as possible would obviously be incredible. So let's go ahead and reinstall that into... We'll start working on a kitchen, maybe somewhere in this side. Ideally, we want to be somewhere outside where we can vent the heat. Um, so we'll do it in sort of this area, I guess. We could have even a uh, freezer in here, butcher a table in here, and then dining room in here. Again, doesn't not, not a big deal right now. We'll work, we'll work out the actual semantics later on. Um, what if we just set uninstall all and get them all hauled into the base? Also not a bad plan. Um, do you want to do that much uninstalling? That's quite a hefty amount, isn't it? Where are you going right now? Just wondering. Uh, let's get that uninstalled too, because that could be very, very handy. I'm going to take this. I'm going to take the random sculpture, because that will help out a little bit. Got like steel chairs. Getting all this salvage as soon as we can would be very, very, very handy. And of course, the generator. The generator is the big one. So let's get that reinstalled back outdoors somewhere as close to a, a sort of as many different things as possible. Nice. Um, are you now stuck outside the base? That's what I'm seeing. No, we still got a hole in the base. Can you not get back in? Uh, we can get back in. Okay, we're fine. We kind of want to leave that open until the zombies are ready to come in, right? And then we'll just brick over it. In fact, I probably should have just left that door in until we're, uh, until we're ready to go. Right, let's work on that. All right. Good work, squad. So let's start getting all this shit hauled back to base as soon as possible, because that's really going to be a huge help here. Um, we've got a lot of doors going on here, and obviously we, we don't want half this garbage as well. I want to slim these buildings down, make it a bit more streamlined, make our lives a little bit easier here and there. Okay, um, we've got to find batteries. We've still got another 12 hours. How do we want to do this, then? I feel like doing what we've done was, that was still the right idea, just to get as many raw resources into the base. Um, how do I deal with batteries? That's a fantastic question. Uh, do you want to send just Donuts out by himself? Eagle, what's wrong with you? What, what's up? You got no food? Recreation starved? Drowsy? Let's go get that poker table. <laughs> it seems like a weird thing to suggest. Let's get that done as soon as possible, because that's going to be the, the very sort of minor amount of happiness that they can actually get from this. Uh, okay, fine. Get that reinstalled. Let's claim that one. Reinstall that one. It's not going to be much, but it is like a nice little gesture, huh? And then uninstall that. Reinstall that one there as well. So, Donuts, you are going to start working on that one. Thank you. Igor, just do what Igor do. In fact, Igor, you are going to work on that instead, my man. Thank you. I probably went a little bit overboard with the amount of stools and shit that I wanted to get in the base, but I thought it would also be kind of kind of helpful. Batteries are right there. What am I talking about? Okay. Claim? How did I miss that? We just found that, or am I going absolutely nuts? Right. Claim both of those. We need to reinstall these right next to the solar panel. Save on as much cable as possible. Put that there in hindsight. Clearly a horrible plan. Where is the solar panel right now? Oh, we minified it, but never actually installed it. Okay. So let's put that there. Um... Eagle through. What are you working on? Solar generator. Still work on that. Still work on that. Thank you. Deconstructing power conduit. You know what? Just, just focus on hauling it first. Let's go and pick it up. Move it to base because the zombies are going to get here in 10 hours time. That's a good plan. There we go. Donuts is bringing over the poker table. Good, good, good. We've actually got a little bit of recreation then. Very nice. She's stuck. Why, why are you stuck? Um, okay, there we go. Let's try this again. Prototype's working on that. Oh, she's just going to sleep. She's going to sleep. Five hours. I feel like now's not the time to be sleeping. I feel like now's the time for batteries, huh? Um... Yeah, let's get, let's get doing that. Let's, let's work on that immediately, because this is kind of scaring me. Right, uninstall. Donuts, uninstall that one. I'm going to send them both in. Fuck their mood. Obviously, if they get trapped outside in the zombies, it, it's, it's worth the risk. It's absolutely worth the risk. Go for it, my team. Installing battery. Uh, what are you doing? Sleeping. Oh, I queued it up. I'm a fool. All right. This is where we see if we've we've at least managed to set ourselves up a, a, a fairly decent start here. Um, how are we looking? 
Thank you, Eagle. Come and grab that battery, and let's get you picking it up and carrying it back to base. Uh, just standing around, huh? So whenever I set them to pick stuff up, they seem a little bit confused there. Bonnet's uh, adventure is full. Ah, shit. Um, we could set them to reinstall it instead, then. That means you should be able to carry it immediately, as far as I remember. Um, so we can install that there, no problem, I think. Just sort of get it hooked up. That could be our electricity room, or however the hell you want to look at that. Uh, prioritize hauling battery. There we go. Okay. Nice. Oh, this has been an interesting first day. Two hours until the zombies come. We can just about get a power grid set up before it's time to go. These lights would also be fantastic. But now it's a case of uh, sort of reinstalling stuff as we go and trying to climb back a bit more land here. Right. We are good then, my friends. So I think what I want to focus on start off with here. Igor, have you still got that wrench? Did I, did I keep that with us? Um, no, we didn't. Drop the solar, solar generator around the battery. Thank you. Donis, if you want to start working on that, we might as well start cranking some power into these batteries too. There we go. Okay. Wow. Actually, power is quite nice, huh? Um, let's also get rid of this thing. So, obviously, we're not going to use it. And it's just going to be tanking power right now. Um, you can work on that battery. Then we need to start working on furniture and, and food and, and means to survive. Because I feel like in terms of food, we are kind of shitting ourselves right now. There is a single zombie. Somewhere in this map is a single zombie man. And that's the last of our meals gone. All right. Um, man, suddenly things are looking a bit bad, huh? Got, we've got pemmican. We've actually got pemmican for days here. 120. Well, we haven't. We've got pemmican for a little while. Let's start working on... Let's start working on food then. So, what have we got that's actually unroofed? Because I'm thinking we we straight rip out this building here. It's not really doing much besides, you know, obviously I've installed some batteries in there. But we can put the batteries fucking anyway, to be honest with you. Um, I'd rather put them in there then. Let's get these cables removed. As many cables as we can sort of in our base area. And I just, I'll just completely redo it as little as we need. Right, I'm actually going to forbid that outer door. All right, Eagle, let's get to work. So we are now completely encased here, in theory. In theory. Um, I've probably missed something here and there, but that's good. Oh, they've got a chest table as well. I didn't even notice that. Right, okay. Oh, and we've got hoopstone. Man, we do have a, a decent amount of recreation. We've got 36 minutes of what I didn't even notice. It's obviously incredible as well. We want to make sure we're not in darkness too much. So I'm going to reinstall this into sort of into their bedroom for now, I guess. Um, let's also get rid of that. And let's also strip out this wall here because I think it's irrelevant. It's just going to be a big old bedroom recreation room, whatever the hell we want to do with it, really. Wow, I'm actually really, really happy of how this how this start has gone, to be honest with you. It looks kind of a an okay, survivable little area we could potentially live in for quite some time. Roof collapse? Roof collapse? <laughs> Where? Um, oh, shit, that's probably the zombies. Already we're up to 48 zombies, so just bear that in mind. Another roof collapse, yeah, the zombies are, are tearing apart some sandbags or tearing apart the roof, something along those lines. Okay. Cancel that one, cancel that one, because that's risky. Because um, no doubt I'll forget to obviously cancel the job later on. Let's get some stools installed, and let's just basically go with whatever we've got right now, huh? What's that noise? What's that? What the fuck is that? Boomalo. Oh my god. <laughs> Talk about giving me a fucking heart attack. Okay, we need to kill the animals then. Because now that they're trapped in, they will they will actively try and hunt a, uh, get out if they can't get food. Um, it's just, I don't really want to hunt that thing for hopefully obvious reasons. Um, yeah, that sucks. Okay, we're, we're going to have to deal with these guys then, aren't we? Let's remove roof area from basically all of this because this is going to be big old farmland from now on. Um, don't really care about the alleys too much, but I'll still just strip the roofs off that for the time being. Uh, we can't get into this building yet, can we? We could always obviously block that up later on and expand it into this one. I want to focus on getting that wall rebuilt, to be honest with you, because that's frightening. Um, let's get that. Let's get some of these wooden blocks here uninstalled and quickly move them elsewhere. Don, it's my man. We need this right now. We need this right now, please, for the love of God. There are 60 zombies on the map already. Fucking hell. Where are you going? Of course you... Okay, right. This is a good way to track down what I've still got left to be uninstalled. So cancel that shit. Um, right, what are you after? You are removing roof. Okay, that's that's good, because that means we haven't got anything higher priority. You start working on that wall. Make sure we are completely encased here, my man. The animals have to die at some stage. We'll deal with that later on. This is our first priority. Getting this stripped out. Start work on a farm. We've got pemmican. Will that last as long as? Probably not. We're going to have to hunt these animals and probably just eat them raw, to be completely honest with you. Um, is there any other buildings nearby with... Oh, God, it's a little laggy there, huh? Um, with any sort of food. Oh, God, we're up to 71 fucking zombies already. This is going to get really messy very, very quickly. So now it's just a case of actually terraforming this into a decent base and obviously slowly branching out and connecting up all these other buildings until we've got ourselves a massive area to, to live in and, and obviously minimize the amount of doors and things as well would be nice. Making the rooms into much larger open rooms so we know there can't be sneaky little zombies here and there or things like that. 
Okay, so I'm thinking, let's start working on the bedroom next. Otherwise, these guys are not going to last five minutes because they are going to get super sad very quickly. So, double bed seems like a fantastic idea. Let's also get down a dresser and an end table there. Now, we do have, a, hopefully, enough wood to be able to deal with this. Um, oh, we want to keep one of those, apparently. Where's this one coming from? That's fine. Um, so, that one is being reinstalled where? That one's already being reinstalled. So let's, let's let's get this working right now because it's going to be not long before they actually probably want to go to bed. We'll get plenty of wood from elsewhere, you know, stripping up all these floors, bringing a little bit of wood as well. Um, got like a dining chair that obviously I really don't want at all. Oh, darn it, my man. What was that combat music? No, we're fine. Okay, nothing to worry about. I genuinely thought we were having a little bit of combat music there. Oh, darn it, please. It's like two more seconds. What was that? What was that? That sounded like a boomer zombie. Where? I thought I turned off Boomer Zombies. Um, a lot of you were more interested in the more survival, almost not, not like tower defense. But a lot of you did agree with me that the, the Boomer Zombies do sort of make building any sort of survivable mass base very, very difficult to do. Uh, why are you guys sleeping on the floor still? There we go. Little bit of comfort there in, 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 in every way, if you get what I'm, if you get what I'm uh, putting down there. An elephant is attacking. Oh, and also a group of zombies. I'd like to point this out. 230 zombies right now. Oh, no. Is that more? Oh, no. It's, it's not more. We're, we're fine. I honestly thought that was, that was completely something else there. Shit. Um, I think... I don't like these noises. I think getting rid of most of, if not all, of the wooden features of this base would be uh, a very sensible play. Based on the fact that I believe these zombies can cause fires. Um, and I, obviously if they kill a boomalope or whatever, that's going to be a real issue. I love that we've actually got some power, though. I'm actually really, really happy about that. Because that could have been a real concern. So I actually just checked, the noise that we're hearing is, is toxic splasher zombies. They don't do damage to walls, but they do put down sort of the toxic goo everywhere, which if you walk through will slow you down massively. Um, we are very quickly running low on food. We are very quick. I think that might be the last little bit of pemmican we've got now, that 107. Something's fucking eating it. What is eating our pemmican? Whatever it is, we're going to kill it dead. Um, it's a single mega louse. Kill it dead, Donuts. This is, this is all yours, my man. Um, hopefully we're not going to die hunting a mega louse. Yeah. I also want to take out that big old Ronto looking thing. It, it looks like it's something from Star Wars, but I'm almost certain it's not. Uh, you. You also need to die. How strong do you think this boy is going to be? He's a dead shot, so uh, evidently it shows that he couldn't hit the broadside of a freaking barn door. Please. There we go. All right. Bleeding out in seven hours. Nice. Bleeding out in six hours. We could just leave it now and watch it die and not risk getting, uh, revenge. Yeah. You know what? I'm going to leave it. I'm going to leave it. Let's just let that fucking thing bleed out. That's fine at this stage. Um, we'll also take out this mega louse or whatever the hell it is. This giant wood louse looking thing. Mainly because I don't want that guy also digging out of the walls. There we go. Okay. And what are you bleeding out? Not bleeding out at all. Didn't even get through the armor. Can't believe this is the first start of our base defense that we have to focus on. And it's killing the animals to stop eating my fucking food. Uh, no immediate danger, really, after all of that. Fine. We'll just let him passively hunt. It's a big old bug at the end of this. Is it really going to pose that much of a threat? Here, you come up here. Um, where'd it go? Excuse me, where are you? Stop running away, coward. Um, do we want to... Drafted hunt? Ooh, da danger. Absolutely big danger here. All right, please be careful. Good shots. It's not like we've, we are literally low on a lot of ammo here. Oh, no. That was the worst case scenario. Run, 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 run. Eagle, Eagle, do not get into a fist fight with that thing. That thing is big and spooky. Run, run, run. Okay. Um, right. Now we are going to have to be careful because I was kind of worried that might happen, but that's okay. I think the bullet went through the louse and hit the other thing, which is fine. It's not a big deal. How are you doing? Just a bruise. Nothing to worry about. Bruise on the hand. Take that thing out. It will probably count as insect meat. What the fuck is digging through my wall again? It is probably insect meat, which means that we probably don't want to butcher that. Is anything actually attacking my wall or is that something that tried to maybe get out earlier? And where's that other thing? Is it still a manhunter? Might have bled out. Uh, it is still manhunter by the looks of it. Yes. Yeah, Splitting out three hours. Oh, right. We need to claim all the doors. That's a good reminder. That was a nice, friendly, sensible reminder that we actually need to do something about that relatively soon. Oh, Donitz. Donitz has power armor, so I'm not too concerned. Come and chase him through here. That's it. Don't hurt poor Igor. Poor Igor is basically unarmed, um, unarmored at this point. Donitz, you gonna, you gonna do anything? There we go. We're, we're good. Oh, and we've got a little bit more food out of that, of course, because we've got ourselves our big old friend there. All right. Really nothing to worry about. Getting them walls rebuilt. This is good. This is fantastic for the base. Should we get some crops planted? I'm getting really distracted by trying to get the whole thing planted. We just need to absolutely stick down. Oh my god, there's no room for crops. Why? Oh, because that's a fucking stockpile. I made that stockpile, didn't I? Alright. Um, no, oh, that's not much. That is not fantastic, but I'm going to take it. Right, let's get some rice planted and just immediately start work on that. 
Well, we've got about uh, about one day's worth of food. Not even that. What is it like? It's like 20 pemmican they, uh, they eat per meal. So we are getting to starvation level territory now. All right. Well, the rice has already started to be planted here. So it's not a big deal. We could butcher this big old bloody thing as well. Did we not get a butcher's table in the end? Oh, we didn't install it in time. Okay. Not a big deal because we could, of course, just knock down this wall or quickly reinstall this wall there. Then we've got access to this building. Of course, that will open up problems like this door, this door, this door, this door, this door. It, it, it's not... You know, it, don't, get, don't get me wrong, none of this is smooth sailing at all, but it is still feasible. We could also stick down a butcher spot or something like that. So what I want to do with this room, by the way, is, is turn it into a big old stockpile. Because right now we've just got sort of shit lying around everywhere and it's it's kind of a pain in the ass. to be completely honest with you. Let's focus on get them comfortable. Because mental break risks, as we've seen before, are, are easily as big a killer as both zombies and spooky boys in power armor. What collapsed? Things that were crushed. Burn Empath and Hamatic Lawyer. Um... Oh, right, the zombies are going fucking butt wild. 333 zombies, by the way. So, so much as leaving this compound will be will be death, will be absolute suicide. This is maybe a bad idea in hindsight. Am I, am I getting second thoughts? Nah, would I ever? Would I ever? I'm, I'm way too stubborn for that type of thing. We are going to leave this one here for today. I didn't realize quite how much we'd overrun because I'm actually really enjoying this weird sort of game style we've got going on. Bunker down in the city. Give yourselves a pat on the back if you actually suggest that because it's a much better idea than my usual crap of just picking through it and then running away and then dying trying to set up our own base. This could be very, very cool. And of course, we're going to expand out more and more, see if we can get to all these various buildings and maybe we could even build a colony out of it. It seems weird to suggest it. We might be able to get more than two people eventually. God forbid. Let's give a shout out to the insane top tier level patrons who I'm hoping will turn up at some stage. Who I'm hoping we can add to this game and watch them too be ripped apart by a horde of unforgiving, horrible zombies. A big thank you to Alpha Scar, Persona Kirito, Atmosis, Bacon Kitten, Sedini, Crazy Pack, Croesus, Donald, Fukuna Vasquez, Fluffernutter, Gogolus, Harik, Jimbo, Jonah Waters, Josh Lindeen, Tesla, Justin Wallace, Caden Carter, Michael Mullen, Musk Ratful, Nat Buskus, 911, Nathan Flores, Necrofin, and Powers Presley, Rodin, Scott, Skaz, Somnus, Shayok Sinclair, Stannis the Manus, The Forsaken One, Tibet Cruz, Tom Terry 18, Tyler Kendall, Vacuous Bacchus, and William Green. Thank you for your support at the Insane Tier Levels on Patreon. Thank you for making the channel possible. Thanks for making it so I don't have to take garbage sponsorships. And thank you for uh, making YouTube viable in 2019. And a big thank you as well goes out to, at the top of my list, when I can scroll up to the top of it. Here we go. Adam Person, Asaro, Aiden W, Andrew Wilson, Attila, Bordoom, Ben Trope, Bettimus Max, Better Valerian, Black Double H, Chris, David Van Diepen, Don, Don Connie 217, Easier to Pronounce Name, Emerald Beam, Exploded Knees, Fraser Brennan, Gabriel Van Ders, Gaz, Genji Zerko, Gompo, Grey, Haji Dumar, Henrik Stensgard, Icarus, Icy the Great, Irish, Israel, Isaac Burrows, Jay Lehrer, Jacob Wolfie, James Barnes, Jason Sushu, Jose, Yoran DeVries, Jessica Smith, John Holiday, Jordan Campbell, Joseph Beer, Justin Plot, Justin Walters, Llewellyn Thomas, Luke Wallace, Matthew, Monty, Nathaniel Lindbergh, Nick, Noah Gallimore, Pan Samu, Panther Pearl, Payback 1 through 7, Peyton Denisar, Russian Elgar, Billionaire, Smirt 1, Talar, The Bloody Knight, Voluntary, Voodoo Mumbo, Wesley Grayson, Wilson Atef, Wolfie, Yorkus, and Zico 2. See you guys all tomorrow for hopefully the continued survival of our good friends, Igor and Donitz.